exponential distribution the probability density function of an exponential distribution px is equals to 1 over mu e raised to the power negative x over mu where x is greater than 0 we have an example the life in years of a certain type of electrical switch as an exponential distribution with an average life of mu is equals to 2 it could be 2 years or 2 months depending with the information what is the probability that it fails during the first year and therefore that means probability of x is less than or equals to 1 so it is from 0 to 1 1 over mu e raised to power negative x over mu dx and we know that mu is equals to 2 so if we do the computation it will give us negative e raised to power negative x over mu and we know what is the value of mu mu is 2 0 to 1 so after that integral i can substitute the value of mu so i have negative e raised to a negative x over mu 0 to 1 which is negative e and uh, we have said we need to substitute the value of mu so that we are working with numbers it will negative 1 over 2 minus minus e raised to power 0 so and this is 1 minus e raised to power minus 1 over 2 so that is the probability that it will fail within the first one year so since mu is in years it fails within the two to four years so i'll be looking for the probability that x will lie in that interval so it is 2 to 4 1 over 2 e raised to our x over 2 uh, dx and this is equals to minus e raised to our minus x over 2 2 and 4 it tells us that it's minus e raised to power minus 4 over 2 plus e raised to power minus 2 over 2 so it is e raised to power 1 minus e raised to power minus 2 and that gives us the probability that it will fail between 2 and 4 years. For number 2, the number of days ahead travelers purchase their airline tickets can be modeled by an exponential distribution with an, an average amount time equal to 15 days. Find the probability that A, a traveler will purchase a ticket fewer than 10 days in advance. So what we have been given here is our mu and we have been told it's uh, 15 days. And we are told fewer than 10 days. So we want to find that probability and we want to integrate from 0 to 10, 1 over 15, A raised to power x over 15 dx. And that will give us negative e raised to power x over 15 between 0 and 10 days. So that's what we want to work with for that example. And this gives me e raised to power negative 10 over 15, which is 2 over 3 plus e raised to power 0. So it is 1 minus e less one negative 2 over 3 and that will give us 0 0.486 but b how many days do half of the travelers wait and uh, definitely we have been told that the integral from 0 to 10 of 1 over 15 e less one negative x over 15 dx is equals to 0 0.486 which is approximately uh, 48.6 percent or if you wish you can say it is 49 percent and this is half of the time so the travelers wait for an average of 10 days but there are other ways of going about it if we are not sure on how to if that was the actual value we could have said that we want to find the probability that x is less than t which is the integral of 0 to t 1 over 15 e raised to the power minus x over 15 dx. 
and that will give me minus e raised to the power minus x over 15, 0 to t. And this will give me 1 minus e raised to the minus t over 15. And this should be equal to 0 0.5, which is half of the time. If I rewrite my equation, then it means that t, it means that e minus t over 15 is equals to 1 minus 0 0.5, which is 0 0.5. And that's what we have. Then I introduce the natural logarithm uh, on both sides. So I introduce ln of e minus t over 15 is equals to L of 0 0.5, which is equals to negative 0 0.693. And therefore, negative t over 15 is equals to negative 0 0.693. Definitely the negative signs will cancel and we'll be able to get the average value of t and t is equals to 10.39 days and we could say it's approximately 10 days like what we got in the previous example but see what is the probability that a travel will purchase a ticket after 15 days and so want to find probability of x greater than 15, which will be equals to 15 to infinity, 1 over 15, e raised to a minus x over 15, dx. And this will be equals to negative e raised to a negative x over 15, 15 and infinity. So it is e raised to an e raised to power infinity plus e raised to the power negative 1 and the answer will be e raised to the power negative 1. Alternatively, we could have said probability of x greater than 15 is 1 minus probability of x less than or equals to 15. So first of all, we get probability of x less than or equals to 15, which is the integral from 0 to 15, 1 over 15, e raised to a negative x over 15 dx. And that will give me negative e raised to a negative x over 15, 0 and 15. So if I do uh, that, it will give me 1 minus e raised to the power negative 1 and therefore probability of x greater than 15 is equals to 1 minus 1 minus e raised to the power minus 1 which is e raised to the power negative 1 just like in the previous example and this is equals to 0 0.367 so whichever way you'd follow you'll come to the same solution thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Then remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.